Hi, I'm Titliny Hahn, and this is my busy garden. Just look at this weather, isn't it beautiful? And it's gone on for at least a week now. Anyway, this week I'm going to be spending a lot of time with my secateurs in my hand. These roses have been absolutely beautiful this year and haven't been washed out like last year. And the smell, absolutely classic rose smell. I don't know about you, but I find a lot of modern hybrids don't have a good perfume. But this, I don't know what variety it is, it's fabulous. Anyway, there's a few of these that are just coming to the end. So I need to deadhead them. This time of year, deadheading is pretty much a daily activity, particularly with weather like this. I've just got to give you a close-up of this bloom. Look at it. Isn't that beautiful? I've had quite a few nice blooms on this rose this year, more than last year. I put it down to good training. But I think this summer, it's going to turn out to be one of the better summers, certainly since I moved back to the UK a few years ago. I can't remember such a long spell, it's a couple of weeks now, of dry sunny weather. And it's almost as though nature's trying to catch up with itself. I was out videoing a, a wedding at the weekend and a little bit of extra money at a place called Booth Wells and a hotel which the fly fisher folk amongst you might know, a place called Care Berries. God, it was hot. You see, the thing is in this country, in places like hotels, we don't tend to invest in air conditioning because it doesn't get used that often. But <laughs> there was free water being given around to just about everybody, including me, and bless him, the groom bought me a couple of drinks as well, which I was very grateful for. This is another rose with a really lovely perfume. Hello, cat. Meow. 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 Do you want to come out? No, sorry, can't help you there, cat. You'll have to come the normal way. So, if you live in the UK and you're getting married soon and you need a videographer for your wedding, I might be able to help. I think this wallflower is getting a bit crazy and I think I'm going to take off these seed pods before they go a bit mental and deposit a load of wallflower seeds all over the path. Hack, hack, hack. That's a bit better. Now with the warm weather, this geranium has already been and gone. So I'm going to cut it back quite a bit because it's encroaching on the space for the other plants. Do, 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 do. That's starting to look a, a lot better. In case you're wondering how I'm trimming this, you see this geranium's got the flowers at the top, it's got a leaf, and then a leaf, and then a gap, and then a leaf. I'm just kind of running the secateurs down to that leaf and snipping it off. And it keeps a leaf structure while deadheading the flowers at the same time. And the last thing I'm going to deadhead, because it's getting really warm, are my poppies. Whew. Well, that's all I'm going to do for the moment. It's getting really, really warm. I think I'll come back in the cool of the day. I've brought some of my Thai basil plants inside because I'm going to harvest some of the leaves and dry them. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to pick all the leaves off because it would make the plant look a bit silly but I am picking off some of the more 
nicely formed and big leaves. So here's my lovely pile of Thai basil leaves. Now I can hear you thinking, hmm, how is she going to try these leaves? Well certainly not with that helicopter that's just floating overhead, but instead with one of these. It's a fruit stroke vegetable stroke herb dryer. And all it does is it blows warm air over whatever you put on these trays. And I've got five trays. So I'm going to load up my trays with the leaves. it pop on the next layer. I bought this to dry apples because what I do at the end of the apple season is if I've got a load of apples left over when I've made pies and crumbles and put them in the freezer I slice the apples and then put them in here and dry them out they make a really delicious snack. Well I think that's full I've still got some left so I'll have to do this in a couple of batches. Pop on the lid and turn on the giant hydratotron. Well, I'll just leave that for a couple of hours and come back later. It only takes about an hour to dry them, and so I've got a nice box of crispy, crunchy Thai basil leaves. I've just popped the other batch in. Well, it's much later in the day and much cooler too. By the way, I've been quite busy today using up all my excess rhubarb, some of which was in the freezer. I'm using all five kilograms of it to make some rhubarb cordial. There's a link under this video to the Royal Horticultural Society website where I got the recipe from if you're interested. Anyway, back to this bed. I really feel that next year I'm going to have to sort this bed out and make some quite drastic changes. It's a bit full and I mean look, it's all over the path. Come round the other side. I'll try not to disturb the sleeping terrorist. But just look at this lot. I mean, it's all over the path, all the way around there. Talking of nuisances, another nuisance in the garden at the moment is this, which starts popping up in places all over the garden at this time. I'm constantly going around picking it out. Now the last thing I'll do today is just tidy up this saxifrage. So it's finished flowering. It's very pretty when it was flowering. Trim it back away from the lawn as well. Man has this habit of if there's a plant overhanging the lawn he'll avoid it. That's okay. I'd rather he did that than flattened and mowed all my plants. Oh, that's a bit better, don't you think? Now he's had his hair cut. Well, it's not like me to complain about the heat, but they're forecast 30 degrees here tomorrow. Anyway, before I finish, let's just go and have a quick wander around the garden and look at some of the flowers and veggies. That's all I've got time for this week. Tomorrow I'm going to be indoors beneath a fan trying to keep as cool as possible. Thanks for watching and do join me next time in Tiddy's Busy Garden. Mm -hmm.